Peacock back home safe and sound tonight after a wild escape from the Bronx Zoo. Yeah, all eyes were on Raul the Peacock. Fox 5's Christine Russo joins us live from the Bronx Zoo. And Christine, what's going on with birds? Because this isn't the only one people have been watching closely. Yeah, Natasha, see, we are on bird patrol today. Okay, so first we had this peacock that escaped last night from the Bronx Zoo, but, you know, he hung out around East 180th Street for a little bit, did his thing, checked out a couple different trees, and then made his way back to the Bronx Zoo this morning. But believe it or not, that's actually not the only bird news that we've been following today. The peacock is running the street. Cell phone video shows the Bronx Zoo peacock strolling down Vice Avenue yesterday afternoon. We're trying to keep the bird safe, man. A few good Samaritans spotted the bird and tried keeping it safe off the street. Police say the peacock bit a man who had been patrolling the bird for hours before it took off again. Thankfully, the man was not seriously injured, and despite the bite mishap, the peacock became a local celebrity and got a warm welcome in the neighborhood. The whole neighborhood came out. We named him Raul. They say he's Puerto Rican. I mean, like, what kind of story? <laughs> Come on. Some say seeing animals escape the zoo is just another day in the Bronx. You get used to it, so you expect it. They come out all the time. Every year, they come out two, three times a year. And they roam the neighborhood, and then they go back. In a statement, the zoo says, quote, we had confidence in our knowledge of bird behavior to predict how he would behave if given the chance to do so without interference. We were confident in our staff's ability to handle the situation. It's perfectly normal behavior. Biology Biologist Robert DeCandido says this isn't out of the ordinary for peacocks. And it's probably a male that got away. He's looking for a territory to attract females to his, you know, a single room apartment, probably. Then in more bird news of the day, a few blocks away at Fordham University, a goose was on the loose terrorizing students on campus. It was like attacking a few students that went by, but then like animal control was called. I think everyone's kind of avoiding all of the geese because you can't really tell them apart. So. <laughs> And an even more unexpected bird behavior today, our newest Fox 5 photographer was welcomed to the job by a wild turkey who apparently took a liking to him out on Long Island. Dr. DeCandido says interaction with wildlife is just part of sharing the land with our animal friends. Enjoy the scenery. Be amazed at the colors, especially of the peacock. Raul is quite a bird there. All right, so lesson of the day is if you see any type of wild animal on the street, you might want to take a picture for sure, enjoy it, and then just, just walk the other way. We're live outside the Bronx Zoo. Back to you guys. Yeah. Can't trust those turkeys. No, a wild Run turkey the other is way. spoken for now. <laughs> Smitten. All right, very well. Thank you very much.